Introversion is an often misunderstood term because people relate it so much to shyness. It actually doesn't go by a one-size-fits-all definition, as it can be categorized into four different types. The four types of introverts can be vaguely described by the traits social, thinking, and anxious and anxious restrained. Social introverts. The belief that social introverts dislike socialization is false. Rather, they prefer to socialize in small groups of people they feel compatible with and comfortable around, such as close friends or their family circle. Thus, they are not exactly shy or reserved. Thinking introverts. These are people who remain introverts in their thinking process, causing them to be more thoughtful and self-reflective. For instance, they can get lost in their own dream world, drowned in creativity and imagination. Anxious introverts. Anxious introverts prefer to be alone because they feel uncomfortable or unsuitable during social gatherings, as they are not confident about their social skills. Consequently, they are likely to choose solitude, but sometimes even solitude may not reduce their anxiety. These introverts tend to minimize anxiety by ruminating on things that could have gone wrong had they been in a particular social context. Restrained introverts. These are people who take time in everything they do, whether it's socializing or springing up in action. They may seem slow since they think more carefully before they speak or act and are more passive in nature than the active types. Now you've probably come across an introvert in your life and labeled him or her as so by identifying a trait that fits in one of the above types. So how do you know whether an introvert likes you or not? 1. Making the first move. Generally, introverts don't make the first move in a social context, but if you find that an introvert is actively making an effort to talk to you or making a gesture to grab your attention, you can bet he or she likes you. 2. Opening up. Introverts are not easy to crack. It takes time for them to come out of their shell and open up about themselves. However, if an introvert is telling you a lot about themselves, you are definitely someone they want to connect with. 3. Observing. As introverts are good observers, they are not quick in making friends or including people in their social circle. They take their time getting to know people and later choose them as friends. If you find that an introvert is building a good relationship with you, it means he or she wants to be close to you. 4. Inviting you into their personal space. Introverts like spending time in solitude to reflect on themselves, their thoughts, and emotions. If you are invited into their personal space and asked to spend time with them, then they no doubt enjoy your company. 5. Talking about personal topics. You wouldn't normally find an introvert engaging in a personal conversation. Instead, most of their conversations are generic. But if you come across an introvert that tells you about their likes and dislikes, interests, hobbies, ideologies, and goals, that means they like you to the extent where they feel comfortable doing things that are considered out of character. 6. Showing extra care. Introverts place high values on relationships. They show a lot of care, concern, and empathy towards people whom they consider friends or significant others through their communications and behaviors. If an introvert is paying extra attention to you, then they consider you as part of their close circle of friends. 7. Going the extra mile. Introverts are very warm and helping people. If you find an introvert trying to do things for you without you asking for help, you are someone he or she really likes. 8. Constantly keeping in touch. Even introverts distinguish between close and casual friends. If they keep you a part of their daily lives, then you are someone special to them. 9. Revealing secrets. Everyone has a secret they keep to themselves. Introverts especially are very careful about whom they reveal their secrets to. It can be something like allowing you to read their diary or sharing an important aspect of their past. If an introvert is allowing you to know a secret part of their life, you are someone whom they really trust and like. 10. Giving feedback. Introverts don't usually give others advice or feedback, as they keep most of their opinions to themselves. But if you find that an introvert is giving you honest advice or feedback, they are definitely concerned about you and your well-being. 
And those are 10 signs an introvert likes you. Do these traits sound like someone you know? Do you consider yourself an introvert? And if so, can you relate to these traits? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check us out at our website and social media.